Morning. How are you guys doing today? So it's Sunday, which means it's the day I look at my goals, my week, my yearly goals, which are now broken down by week. And I share them with you, right, across um, lots of different variables. So uh, again, if you watch this channel, uh, I believe goals are important. Goals are something I've had for the last 20 years. I believe you need to write them down. I believe you need to share them. I believe you need to review them consistently and just just keep moving forward right there you know january 1st is coming up lots of people will put goals down and then by the 15th they're gone so something you will see on this channel is i share the good and the bad uh in this week other than one metric one or two metrics it was a pretty rough week for my goals uh but again let me uh let me share them with you and we will uh you know maybe you can help me Oh, here we go. All right, so this will work for the view. So again, uh, this is the same uh, spreadsheet. Uh, I, I started a new set of goals on December 1st. I will finish out my 2019 goals on January 1st. Uh, so that's not quite done yet, but I am tracking this weekly, uh, weekly goals now. Um, I didn't want to wait to January 1st because why bother, right? If you can start at December 1st, that's what I did. So first off, I have some health goals. Right, uh, I got to my heaviest weight ever after an injury and laziness and just general bad eating. Uh, so it was time to put that out there and have you all hold me accountable. Thank you for interacting with me. Many of you have given me recommendations and suggestions and I appreciate all of them. Uh, first off, third week in a row, uh, I worked out at least five days. I got six days in last week. I do need to take at least a day off a week um, just to do some basic walking or whatnot. My uh, my body does not react well to working out seven days a week like it did a decade or so ago. Uh, just in general, this health goal is one that uh, I give myself an A plus on. All the others need work, uh, but it does feel good to see that sacrifice and focus is paying off. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've done this intermittent fasting now three weeks in a row. Uh, for me, I do not eat any food uh, until 11 a.m. and stop by 7 p.m. Uh, I do have, if you watch this channel, coffee, but it is just black and hot. Uh, so that's uh, that's what I drink in the morning. And this was a big week. Uh, I did do some longer runs. I don't know if that paid off or my body is just starting to chew on fat now. Uh, but I lost three pounds in a week. Uh, I felt really good about that. And in reality, it was three and a half pounds, but I'm not going to count the half. I'll, I'll put that in the bag for next week. Uh, but yeah, three pounds, pretty crazy. Uh, going on to social media, uh, again, these are things that I try to get done in the morning before my house becomes active, hence I usually say good morning in my videos because I record them sometime between 6 and 9 a.m. Uh, you know, we were getting close to the 4,000 views uh, last week. Uh, we got to 3,895. Um, but as you'll see in a minute, we, we had a bad day yesterday, which I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, as far as podcast listens, uh, we got to 2760. Uh, if you don't know, each of these videos, or at least most of these videos, get turned into a podcast. So if you want to listen instead of just watch the video, search for a podcast called One Rental at a Time. Uh, and you can go ahead and listen to these. I have somebody that takes all the video, strips out the video, saves the audio, and posts it uh, every week on Saturday. So if you want to just listen instead of watch, uh, you can go ahead and listen to the podcast. But again, it's not daily, it is weekly. Uh, new subscribers on YouTube. I have not hit this goal yet. I need some help. You need to you need to give me some suggestions. You need to share this channel with friends and family and Facebook groups and tell them to join. We need to we need to get the we need to get people to believe that a better financial future is possible. Right? Financial freedom is hard, but financial a better financial future is easy. Uh, and this was a really rough week, specifically yesterday for subscribers. I lost five subscribers yesterday. And the only thing that I could think of is, um, I've been putting out a lot of three to four minute videos that summarize uh, key takeaways from my book. Just trying to grab it here. One rental at a time. I was given a recommendation from Tom Ferry to turn that entire section into videos, which I told him I would uh, by the end of the year. Uh, and actually all of them will be up by noon today Pacific. But I think what happened 
and again, I don't know, I have no idea what caused five people to unsub, but uh, I think I put out a lot of videos in the last two days, right? I, just that series of 21 videos will actually be 22 because I did an intro. And I think it might've turned some people off, right? Getting, a, getting an update every three or four hours saying, hey, new video available. Uh, I'm guessing that might have upset people. So if that is true, I am sorry. I did not, uh, I won't, I don't do that normally, usually just two or three a day. Uh, but the last couple of days have probably been more like eight or nine. Uh, so I apologize. Uh, but again, if you can help me uh, get to that subscriber goal a week, that would be awesome. Uh, we haven't hit it yet, and I'm not sure what else I could do. But if you have recommendations, uh, I would love it. Uh, the thing I think needs to happen is I need to be interviewed on other channels. So if you have people that would like to interview someone who worked a full-time job, wrote a book, ultimately retired, all of that, uh, help me out. Make some introduction. That would be great. Uh, and then as far as Instagram subscribers, uh, I give a lot of credit to Tom Ferry on this one. He tagged me in a picture. Uh, he took a picture with my book. Uh, and we almost got to 40, uh, 40 subscribers. I think that's uh, 37 last week. But again, a miss. So I'm not doing very well on these social media goals. So I need to think about that and, and see what else I could do. As for the business, the things that I'm doing on the side, uh, let's scroll down. So again, I'm still trying to grow our portfolio, right? Uh, one rental at a time doesn't stop just because you stop working. Uh, did write two offers last week. Haven't seen a lot, but in reality, I haven't looked a lot either. So this is really a self-reflection. I really need to spend more time looking and trying to grow my business. I only wrote two offers uh, last week. Neither were accepted, neither were encountered. So I need to figure that out. Uh, no deals, uh, again, no deals even countered last week. No deals closed. Didn't get any deals from partner number one, uh, Stratton. Actually got, uh, had one review. I looked at one deal. So Stratton is doing really, really good at finding deals. Uh, but we have yet to find a deal that makes sense for me. He is, uh, he's having a great month. He's a freaking rock star, that guy. And I think he's going to have a great 2020. I hope to just be a, a small part of that. Uh, my second partner, Adam. Uh, didn't do any deals with Adam last week uh, and actually didn't even look at any new deals with Adam last week. So uh, need to need to work on that. Um, need to figure out what's going on. Uh, you know, as you'll see in the next slide, I am spending money. Uh, so we need to figure this out and, and see, see what we can do better. As far as new marketing ideas, I am spending money for the first time. I didn't spend any money until December of this year, yeah, December of 19 on marketing, right? And again, this isn't necessarily marketing for me. This is marketing through other people because, again, I don't want to have uh, overhead and all of that. But if they're willing to market, bring me deals that come in from it, uh, I'm willing to give it a shot. It's obviously very trust-based. could be very easy for them to take my marketing dollars and not bring me anything. So I will stay close to this, uh, but we will see. So no new dollars spent. Uh, we actually have a couple of campaigns going, um, 500 a week. Uh, over the next four weeks, I think. I think we're sending out about 2,000 mailers uh, with, uh, with Adam. So we'll see what happens. Still talking about the sub two. This is actually going to probably code till January. Uh, he is off enjoying some family time and rest and relaxation. So that is all good. We will see what's going there. Uh, partner number three. Uh, looks like we're going to do a code enforcement mailer. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. Um, we're still trying to draft it, figure it out. I think it's too wordy still. Um, but we'll see what's going on. I'm fully interested in finding more and more wholesalers, door knockers, you know, people that are willing to make some calls. I'm willing to help fund some marketing. Uh, if you're in Fresno and hunting and want, want some, you know, to know that you can close deals that work, uh, you know, call me, let's, let's talk. I'd love to add you to my portfolio and really help you have a great 20 and, and, and me as well. Uh, as far as uh, our portfolio, right? Buy and hold, uh, what keeps us going? Uh, we didn't increase cash flow uh, at all, actually, uh, last week. Uh, I will likely close uh, payoffs in debt here this week, uh, which will make that number different next week. But um, nothing, nothing as of yet uh, going on there. Uh, we did sell, close one flip on Friday, and then we had one slip till Monday. So we'll see another one there. So uh, that will be good. Uh, we do have a f uh, purchase in the works. I'm not sure when that's going to close. Uh, they keep telling me next week. I don't believe them. I think it's going to be the week after, but uh, we're doing okay. So we should close the end of the year with four sold. 
uh, which is a good month. Um, you know, two of them kind of cheating, right? They slipped mm -hmm. from end of November to early December, but it still counts. It still goes on the board. Uh, and then we'll probably have, uh, I'm guessing that one, I'm guessing we're only going to have two in December, but I could be surprised. Uh, as far as spending on things, I am so glad I'm tracking this. Um, I haven't watched my spending in a long time. And uh, now every time I go to look, hey, can, should I buy that shirt? You know, should I go buy that, you know, whatever? Um, I actually think about this. So thank you guys for holding me this. Uh, another, another week of zero, no tchotchkes, no nothing. Uh, again, I still spend on experiences, as you'll see in a minute, and uh, food, right? I've told you all along that Olivia and I enjoy eating out, and uh, we are going to do that all, the, and that's not going to be counted here. As far as unique events, uh, I had one this week. Uh, my, if you haven't heard, if you haven't watched this channel in a while, uh, my daughter came into town uh, from New York, and I actually take her, took her to a Warriors game. Uh, this is important for me because we, you know, over the years we've done a couple of things together, but it was always as most of our stuff was a family or I was just simply out of town uh, doing my day job, you know, you know, being a busy professional. Uh, so we didn't do a lot of things uh, together. So I was so happy that she said yes, that she'd be interested. Uh, she, um, she had a good time and oh, by the way, the Warriors won. Uh, it was a very back and forth game. Uh, tense down to the last minute and uh, we stayed throughout and and had a good time I will uh, I'll remember that game for quite a while so that was fun and um, Teresa thanks uh, thanks for going uh, and then lastly the kind of one rental at a time umbrella I had more than two hours of content last week uh, we sold 28 books uh, again some of this is likely the Tom Ferry effect he took a picture with the book uh, and I believe tagged me uh, so thank you also, it's a great Christmas gift. If you haven't bought it yet, go give it to someone. Hopefully, it uh, motivates them to make 2000, the decade of 2020 uh, changing because, again, one rental at a time works. Better financial future is possible. You know, help someone out. Uh, we did sell three free courses last week. Or sell. They're free. I don't know if sell is the right word. Three people signed up for the free course last week on Teachable. You can find that on my website, onerentalatatime.com. Uh, and we had two uh, people uh, sign up for the paid course, which is awesome. We just had a video yesterday with someone that purchased not three weeks ago uh, and is already feeling confident moving forward, writing offers, which was so awesome. If you haven't watched that video, watch it. It is, um, you can just see how much fun I had because, uh, you know, he was, he was doing the work, right? Buying the course and doing nothing with it, don't bother, right? If you're just going to keep it on the shelf, like, like I did with Carlton Sheets back in the day, just don't buy it. Just watch the YouTube, it's free. Listen to the podcast, it's free. Maybe buy the book because it's you know cheap. It's 15 bucks on Amazon. No reason to buy the course. I kept it cheap, it's under 200 bucks. It will change your life if you do the work, but if you don't do the work, don't bother. I don't, I don't need the money. Uh, only, only purchase it if you're willing to do the work. Uh, and again, I think it will change your life. And if you do purchase it, Sign up for the private Facebook group. That was something I added so I can interact with you, look at deals, answer questions, all of that. And then finally, the thing that I will make a much bigger part of my life the next decade is giving back. Uh, we found an emergency shelter that was opened in Fresno. Uh, they needed a bunch of stuff. Uh, so we drove down uh, to Fresno. We uh, went to Costco. We borrowed a truck because neither of our cars hold anything and uh, we filled it up and we made a, a donation of, of a thousand bucks of stuff uh, to, uh, to this emergency shelter, right? I mean, just basic things, plates and toilet paper and uh, underwear and socks and just the stuff that can really, that you and I take for granted uh, that maybe others, you know, are less fortunate. So, um, you're going to see donations to Fresno Charities be a big part of this channel, a big part of my growth next year. Uh, I'm giving back time all the time, uh, but we are going to give back uh, some of the dollars as well. So uh, that's, uh, you know, that's my week. Uh, again, I think goals are important. I think tracking them are vital and more important. And then sharing how you're doing is like the tippy top of, of importance. So make sure you do that. Leave, leave below what you're doing. Uh, tell me what I should hold you accountable for. Um, help me with the social media stuff. I am, I don't get it. I'm not doing it well. If you can help me grow the YouTube subscriptions, I feel really bad losing five subs, 
yesterday. That hurts. That's the first time that ever happened. Uh, you haven't hit the 50 subscribers yet in a week, so uh, I have some work to do. So if you can help me, that would be awesome. But take care of yourself. Have a great day. Happy holidays.